It's The Local Show on News Radio 570 WSYR, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, your hosts. Tom and Steve. Welcome in and welcome in. It's the local show, the 2023 Summer Edition. I'm your host, Tom Sakosho Jr., along with my good friend and co-host, Steve Roberts. The local show features conversations about local businesses. We talk about the uh, businesses and uh, talk to the business owners. We uh, sometimes get the CEOs in here and the CFOs, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, business advocates, other business-friendly organizations all stop by. We learn how they got into business and why they do business right here in Syracuse, New York, and where their businesses might be going in the future. You're going to hear all about their successes, challenges, opportunities, marketing, and advertising. We're broadcasting from the Zoe Advertising Studios, sponsored by Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts, and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. Welcome in, Steve Roberts. How are you there, buddy? I'm doing you dandy, know. Tom. You look a little more tan. Were you, well, you we went spent, away a little we, bit? We went away in the weekend. We, Nate is back from his... The, the service for a little bit. Sure. So we had him, and uh, he's moving around, because that's what they do in the military. They move people around. They tell you where to go. So he finally had a little time, and we were able to uh, enjoy some family time, and it was it was all good. Nice. It was a, nice. caught a few fish, of course. Very good. I yeah. fished off the beach. We were down in New Jersey Shore. Oh, okay. And, um, and um, you know, I have a fishing pole that travels, of course. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so you look around. What are they doing? What are they using? So I was catching fluke, Tom. Fluke, yeah, I've heard of those. Yeah, and a fluke is a flounder. Is it? Yeah, because I'm like, hey, it's a flounder. Like, that's a fluke. I, I'm like, <laughs> so I looked up. The difference between a fluke and a flounder. One's the summer, it's the season. It's like, yeah, a, it's yeah. like a steelhead and a rainbow trout. The oh, same yeah, fish. right. Yeah, it's one of those a, things, I think. Um, you didn't have anything like... Um, uh, smoked or no, cooked no, or no, like I, that, I didn't keep, I, I wasn't keeping, we're staying at a hotel. Like, oh, hey, okay. can, over, <laughs> hey, can somebody do something with this fish? So. Any good food, anything native yeah, to the yeah, uh, coast? Uh, yeah, native was the, was the, uh, my debit card. Uh, uh, <laughs> holy smokes. Things are, yeah, it's, you know, the, expensive. The, the, New Jersey is close to New York and the government's in charge. So everything oh, wow. is, is really highly done and taxed. And does it bug you when they put the tip on the bill? Yeah, that bothers To me, that's yeah. like. Hey, we're putting the gratuity. It's yeah. my family. What do you think? And, and, Whether and, you're good or not, and you're, you're what, tipping And us. it's not 15%. <laughs> no, it's 20. 20. It starts They're at like, you know, big group. There was yes. like large group. I'm like, it's me and my kids. Oh, what? it's crazy. It makes me think that, that uh, I don't know, it's yeah. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to have a built-in gratuity for everything I do. All yeah, that. well. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a great show all set up for you today. Hope you'll stick around for the full two hours. We're going to start off with Helen Thomas. She's the executive director of New York State Maple Association. And then Joe Scrippa stops by, owner of the Scrippa Group. Guy Hart Jr. is the managing partner and lead developer of Hart Lyman Companies. I've been uh, looking to talk with him for a while. And we'll get him on and talk with John Kupperman as well. Well, he's the owner of Smith Restaurant Supply. Sev Ganella stops by. He's the owner of Clean All Syracuse. And then Matt Major, founder of your local IT department. We'll have a good conversation with him. Brian Dumond is the president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. And then we'll round things out with Natasha Schmidt, co-owner of Rubberstone, New York. Right now, we say a hearty, healthy, great morning to Helen Thomas, Executive Director of New York State Maple Association. How are you? Good morning, and I'm excited because the day <laughs> it, starts it, the fair. It, it yeah, is. The fair started Wednesday. Wednesday it's, the yes, weekend, it's the weekend. And <laughs> we are rolling so people can roll into the fair and, and go straight to the horticulture building. That's right. Are I you mean, in the same spot that you always we are? We are in the same spot in the horticulture okay. building. That the Maple booth has been for years and years. They kind of built that for you, that whole wing, right? We have that wing, yes, <laughs> yes. It's wonderful. <laughs> ice cream's in the same place, oh, maple golly. ice cream. And, and you always get a good crowd. Oh, uh, we always are popular. We like yeah. that. How long have you been in farming in general, you yourself personally? Oh, you want to know how yeah, old I am today, well, huh? You look so young and so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Nice save, Tom. I wanna, no, I want to know how she does it. <laughs> sure, Tom, go ahead. I'm intrigued because I'm like a rotting apple and you and you just look great. <laughs> well, maybe it's because I am in, a, That's in right. agriculture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. So uh, how long? It's been a long uh, time? Or? Well, 
Uh, since you were a little girl? Uh, since I was that? born, and okay. that was 70 years ago. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that. Well, you know what they say. 70 is the new 40, so. <laughs> That's good. That's good a, they are saying good that. Say. Who says that? Everybody's <laughs> telling me that. I'm, I'm 60, and it feels 60. <laughs> So, yeah, and, and where is your farm, your personal farm? Uh, my personal farm is in western New York in Wyoming County. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, do you, you have other things aside from maple trees, probably? We have 350 acres, Woof. so, yeah, yeah about uh, 3,000 maple trees. No, actually, the count was 3,700 maple trees Good that we golly. have. And then there's about 150 acres of cropland. That's incredible. So. How many farms participate in making maple for New York State? The estimate is that there's about 2,000 maple producers. Goodness Does gracious. that count of the the family, the ones that do it for themselves, that just do it for fun? Um, anybody that that is big enough to be doing it not in a kettle on your stove. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, where they there's have an those, evaporator and yeah, stuff. There's families that do that. I know there's they do families that. Yeah. that do I know that. a family that does <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. No, we're. I'm talking yeah. about the people that are serious enough about it that they've they've got some form of of equipment to do it. Right. Formally. Okay. So yeah. when people go to the fair, um, they have to. It's actually. I think it's a law now because they make <laughs> laws for these things. They have to go to the maple exhibit in the horticulture building. We'd like them to, yes. yes. Well, let's just make it a law, Tom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you haven't, if you don't go there, you missed it. And um, what can they taste at oh, your my goodness. booth in the horticulture building? All right. So we, of course, have maple syrup, pure okay. maple syrup. Comes from the tree. There's nothing added. Right. Uh, let's see. Never anything have, added. You don't need to put preservatives anything. in or anything. No, just okay. the tree does it all, pure. and we just take take it out of the tree and <laughs> right. bottle it. Um, Maple popcorn, maple ice cream, maple slushies, mm. maple, we call them maple bites, which are little maple sugars. Right. Um, let's see what else. Maple so bacon? The, you got any bacon? Sugar. <laughs> the, let's go back to the maple bites. So if you want a jolt <laughs> yeah. of sugar, mm. um, those are good. Like you can put that in your coffee. Take a cube, chuck it in there, right? That's right. Um, I put maple syrup in the coffee here at Zoe. Yes. Uh, I, I actually use those every morning in my oatmeal. Ooh, Very okay. Nice. <laughs> that's that's her secret. She's eating oatmeal. <laughs> got the right amount of fiber and everything. Look at that. Yeah. So, the, so talk about the ice cream for a second, because if people haven't had it, they haven't had it. It's delicious. It, 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 it is very popular. We have people who come to the booth every year, every day, just because they want their maple ice cream. It's, right. it's a soft serve ice cream that has pure maple syrup in it, and you can only get it at the fair. That's incredible. Yeah, um, and, and you have lots of, uh, what do I say, Re recipes, too, on uh, the, the big website. Right? Our web, yeah. yeah, our nysmaple.com <clears throat> yeah. website um, has a number of recipes sure. for folks. We'll have them printed at the fair. Oh, good. You will have them and, there, and, yeah. And there's a part of the booth that has a little bit of educational materials and recipes. There's so many things you can make with, with maple and people might want to try that. I know that um, I, I love the maple bacon. So I, I'm, I'm inclined yeah. to take a pound of bacon and make it maple bacon. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and Hoffman still makes maple bacon. Make, maple, maple sausage. 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 Maple yeah, sausage. yeah, that's too. Maple yeah. sausage, From yeah. New York State, pure yes, maple. So tell us uh, briefly why New York State maple is better than Vermont's maple. <laughs> <laughs> because it's <laughs> because it's made by local Local farmers, yeah, most absolutely. of whom are are small family farms. Yeah, no, a lot it's of true. love goes into it. That's right. True. Years ago, I was like, "Well, M Vermont is where the maple syrup." No, it's just we got branded that years ago. <laughs> but really, New York State maple is a ginormous producer of maple, and right. uh, well, Vermont fits into one New York county. You right, know, they exactly. fit into St. Lawrence <laughs> County. So, yeah. well, did you feel the snarkiness? A little bit of edge. I don't know. You know, Vermont. <laughs> you can get all the information you want on maple uh, at the New York State. Fair. Go visit Helen and the whole crew there. Ask a lot of questions. You might want to tap a tree in your own yard and you get some recipes and you get some uh, flavor that's right there at the State Fair. New York State Maple. Um, let's see the website, Steve. I want to make sure I get the right one there. It's uh, New York Maple. Yeah, it's all. NYMaple.com. NYS Maple. Yeah, NYS. That's what I said. I <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear the I thought, S? I thought I might be missing an S, S there. NYS Maple. 
Dot com. Dot com. Go, to the go see her at the fair. All right. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Helen. You have a great rest of the day. Oh, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk with Joe Scrippa. He's the owner of the Scrippa Group right here on the local show on 570 WSYR. Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. And we're back into it and back at it again. Welcome to The Local Show. Steve, um, I had something to tell you about um, foods and grilling and all that kind of stuff, and I can't yeah. remember what it was. What are you What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. You're <laughs> playing with your friend. <laughs> I need that. No, I'll send it to you. I need that. I, I, I have a, like a little meme maker. Oh, oh the meme maker, yes, <laughs> that you gets do. me in trouble sometimes. Yes. So, so uh, you got to watch that. <laughs> you got to be on the right side of the political aisle to use those. Yes. Things. So uh, it was. It was. It was. Um, I was. I was talking to the Italians in the room yes. a little bit here, and <laughs> probably being slightly inappropriate. Well, why don't you talk to the entire audience and tell them why they should go to get us federal savings? Alone. I have no idea. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. They're local, of course. Oh, they're we lo- know that. My gosh, if, if you're going to the fair, you're going to swing by Geddes over there. Yeah. yeah. Right? And um, <laughs> yeah, their, their loans are local. Uh, people are still doing residential stuff. Um, you know, they're still able to, to, to buy homes, just not as many. And Joe will talk about that. And there's yes, not as sure. many out there. They're not uh, selling in five seconds. And, and we've got Brian Dumond on later in the we show. Got, yeah, so we'll, t- we're we'll talk, talk to Brian about that. Detail. But uh, um, a lot of people are, are parking money. The CD rates are really higher, mm-hmm. a lot higher now. So people yep. can save money, get a decent return. Um, but I still am confused to know why people would go to some faraway lending source that you know, is probably no bargain when you can have a, a face-to-face conversation over That's right. So get us federal savings and com. Yes. And thank you for uh, uh, having me put maple syrup in my coffee. Yes. Because that tastes really good. Isn't that great? I'm going to go out and get another cup when we get yeah. done with uh, yeah. Joe. Here. That was actually maple bourbon. <laughs> oh, was it? No, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> because that might be something I would do every day. Yeah. Yes. All right. Right now, it's our pleasure to bring on Joe Scrippa. He's the owner of the Scrippa Group. Scrippagroup.com. There's no K in there. That's a hard C. Yeah. Uh, so S C R I P A Group dot com. We were up in Burton the uh, the other day. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We went up to Burton. We uh, passed the office. Yeah, we had a nice little uh, yep, office right up there. there off the exit eighty one yeah. at uh, Miller Road and. I remember when there was nothing there. And then you got Road. The, oh, yep. Sam's Lakeside was yeah. there. Remember that? Sam's Lakeside was directly across the street. Directly our, across. our office was the Burton Bay <clears throat> Shop. Oh, no, I, I, just, I was just I going used to there. go well, there when I was yeah. a Burton Bay Shop was the one next to it, though, wasn't it? No, yeah. that's our building. Is the whole thing. the Burton okay. Bay Shop. Yeah. Wow. And then if you're really old, like Tom, yeah. the Burton that's Bay true. Shop moved from right by the bridge. It actually yep. was right yep. in town. In the 70s. Yes. And then moved over to where you yeah, are. Yep. Yeah. Um, but oh, yeah. Yeah. There was no yeah. front doors on the place. You <laughs> no, go gosh. in the back door. Yeah. Now it's a, it, it's beautiful up there. We've come to really love our community. Yeah. You know, it's very Everybody, nice. I, I think I've had my office has, we've been around town, Cicero, different locations. And mm-hmm. we used to move from property to property as property managers because we would want to be on site. Sure. And since we moved to Brewerton, which is about just shy of seven years now. Um, I've never had so many people say, I see your office. I can't believe how busy it is, actually. Yeah, it's a busy, busy yeah. thoroughfare yeah. now, yeah. yeah. And, and very, very nice area. We had gone out uh, to a place that I guess Steve goes, and I didn't know this, uh, but uh, we'll give a shout-out to the uh, Wild Horse uh, over there on the river. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, no, great. Yeah, that yep. place is nice. I, I didn't yeah. even know the owner or anything. Usually I know owners and all that right. stuff because of what we do. Yeah. I don't know who owns it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's nice. It's not the class uh, classy. It's not that high end. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, You're it's not, a bar and grill. Yeah, right. And good but food. it's You're good not food. A suit on, we but. pull up in the boat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done that or the car. We've done it both ways. And we're like, you want to get something neat? And you know, we, we you, like that. You know what's exciting with the whole Micron thing and yes. um, Ryan. Is that going to happen? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You know, well, there was People bets. Keep asking. Yesterday, there was bets on a couple of our ads that went on to uh, Facebook or Facebook mm. Marketplace. People were betting against it. So yeah. I, yeah. I'd, I'd be willing to lay down money. <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, you know, Ryan McMahon's talked about and uh, <clears throat> our, our local legislature, Tim Burtis, I know there, yeah, yeah. there are some things going on up there uh, with the future Hamlet 
of Brewerton, which is so wonderful because uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's one building that's been recently renovated. It looks wonderful. Which one? Uh, Where, where's that? You know, just uh, <clears throat> just north of Bartell Road. It's on the right-hand side. They they just renovated near the, the golf facade. course. They had that no, 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 no. Right, right near the water. Right oh, before near the water. You go okay, over the gotcha. bridge, right. Where yeah. our little village, yeah, 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 you know, and I think they're the county's going to sponsor some dollars to go into mm-hmm. into the community, creating a hamlet, sidewalks, make it very walkable. It's very, very in nice our waterfront, there, yeah. you know, those those um, piers over there, yeah, beautiful, are gorgeous, they're gorgeous. Yeah. How big is the footprint going to be? Because okay, Micron, the elephant in the room was Micron. Sure, I mean. Well, is, the Hamlet is literally. I think it's almost literally Bartell Road to just right to the bridge. That's the Hamlet, right? You know, which is yeah. quaint. It's if you think about it, Skinny Atlas. It's Casanova. Yeah, it's yeah, that type yeah, of thing. Right. It's that type of thing. Yeah, right. Which yeah. I love. I think it's great. Uh, Burton, I think, is underutilized. We got such great water sure. way up there. Absolutely, we got great small businesses. Our next door. Our, I'll, I'll plug my next door neighbor, the uh, Brewer Union. Cafe people. Oh, right. Yeah, There's I wondered how what that was about. Yeah, very is that unique. Good? Very unique. It's very different. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, a quasi diner, but mm-hmm. the food is very different. Yeah, yeah. Tom, it's it's uh, it is special. You go in there and. Uh, You'll, you know, there's no menu item that seems <laughs> like you've ever had it before. No. Right, right. And, uh, yeah. but the food is amazing. Is, and it's sure. uh, yeah. fresh and remarkable, yep. right? Yep. And w- yep. when you go down uh, Route 11, so you're heading south, right? Yep. Uh, remember there was that restaurant that was over there, that steakhouse. Oh, uh, D, D, D's or what? DG's. 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 Yeah. yeah. That, that went out. And uh, w- under renovation, I'm not sure who's doing it, but. Um, Somebody should take that no, over No, it's going to happen. And that is literally. That That's area is a mile or two to the backside or, you know, maybe future right. side entrance of Micron. Um, you know, and you start talking about Micron, you know, it, everybody's saying, is it going to happen? Well, of right. course it's it going to happen. Yeah. We're going right. to get phase one. We're going to get phase two. You know, who knows what happens from there. Mm-hmm. But there's definitely changes happening due to it. What we're seeing is I was just telling you guys, apartments everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I can only speak to the projects. I can't name them right now, but we have three major housing developments coming, which would be townhome communities to apartment buildings. Right. Um, in great locations, Cicero, Clay, that type of thing, uh, where let's say the 60-somethings or, you know, if you're in that third quarter and you want to right. get out, you want to get out of your single family, 2,500 square foot house. Sure. And get into Stop looking at me. You know, that's what I did, right? Yeah, well, we scaled you're, you're down. An old, you're an old guy. You, yeah, we, you accused Tom of being an old guy, but it's really you. We went from a right. part, we went from a house, 2,800 square foot and all of the, the, the things. And, and, um, and we're in apartments now, which we love, but some of those communities that have yeah. all of those things. Well, they're going to have to, and they're going to have to have uh, just regular houses too, yeah. you know, communities. You know, so build. right now, what I'll say about real estate, yes. if it's, if you're feeling like it's time to sell, there's never been a better time, you know, mm-hmm. and we got a great staff, Kelly, your yes, wife, right? Yeah. Kelly's on staff. Um, Alec, my son, uh, Nikki Bronner, um, Amber Perkins, uh, Gordon Waltz. We got a good team and, you know, we'll guide, advise, and But direct. that's true on the residential side, but on the commercial side, because, you know, those big script signs are so commercially and residential, you, right. you can kind of tie them together. We, we do, we do. We uh, we tie them together. <clears throat> um, I do a lot of the commercial work, and I've got a small team, and then inside, inside of that team, we do residential. Sure. Um, but it's a great time to sell. People aren't putting their houses on the market. Great time to get the most money you've ever gotten, and we we can help people because of the limited inventory. Yeah, because of the limited inventory. But if someone's uh, thinking um, commercial property, uh, uh, absolutely, we've got it everywhere. Whether whether you're a brand new business, a small business, want to be in a business incubator, we have all that to you know uh, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand square foot warehouses. That's okay. wonderful. Yeah. I think it's going to be an exciting time. It might be a little, we're kind of like in a dip right now, but then things are going to start to explode here. Yeah, yeah, you it know? is. It's it's stewing. It's stewing yeah. right it's, now. It's bubbling So your over. phone still works at 452-1200? 452-1200. So if they want to say, eh, I'm thinking or buying, selling, I'm looking to, so they can get a hold of you, Skip or Group. 100%, no pressure. If they just want to have a conversation, we'll talk real estate anytime. Excellent. Scrippergroup.com. That's uh, Joe Scripper right there. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. All right. Guy Hart Jr., 
is coming up next. We're going to learn all about what he's doing with uh, Lakeshore Country Club and the uh, mall. And Steve's going to try and say great nothing mall about 100 times. <laughs> and I'm going to get slapped back, which <laughs> I'm pushback. glad there's something happening. <laughs> all right. Guy Hart Jr. coming up next on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back into it and back at it. Thank you for joining us. It is The Local Show right here on 570 WSYR with Tom and Steve as uh, we are, you know, into the fair now. We've got both feet in and ready to rock is, and roll. Is there always the a mums reason? are coming up. There's always a reason to eat, though. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's fair season. Oh, it's the, the holidays. Yeah, it's like there's always People a reason to, to not uh, eat uh, healthy. Um, and the fair yeah. is a great one, let's be honest. Well, yes, but there is a lot of healthy food, too. You yeah, can yeah, uh, wear it, I don't know. The fair. I, can I, don't, it. I don't think there is, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I am unaware. Go over to Daniela's. Go over to well, the well, Char- Charlie's place. Oh, you see Charlie. But yeah, you have a nice tasty. That's fish for sandwich. That is for sure. Yeah. Um, this is a lobster. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, the lobster rolls. Lobster yeah, rolls and lobster stuff. lobster rolls over there. So, uh, but he's right uh, right by our friend Helen, right? Yeah. You go out to the, the, the horticulture the maple yeah. right there. So you have a little sugar and then offset it with uh, some fish. Fish yeah, and, it counteracts. It makes it equal. And you know, you know what the great equalizer is? Um, Four yinglings over at Charlie's <laughs> place. <That's, laughs> that'll equalize your rate out. All right, look, we got a great uh, guest right now on, and I've been wanting to talk to him for a while, Steve. Uh, more than you, uh, Guy Hart Jr. is the managing partner and lead developer of Hart Lyman Companies, and they got a lot going on here in Syracuse, uh, along with the, the Micron thing happening too. How are you, Guy? I doing great. I'm, I'm excellent. I'm, I'm hanging out with you guys. Yeah, how could you? Awesome. It doesn't get it's any better than that, to be honest. <laughs> Take if the rest it, of the day off after this. So, so you'll be hearing for the next uh, three weeks. I heard you on the radio. You were right. You'll hear that. You you'll probably hear that. last time. It'll, That's you know. right. I did. I did. All right. Now, look, uh, first, let people know out there uh, what Hart Lyman Companies is, and then we'll, we'll talk about what you're doing. So Hart Lyman Company is really a, a multifaceted real estate development and investment company. Uh, we're based here in Syracuse. Uh, until recently, I would have told you most of our business is out of town. Um, you know, the result of kind of some of the drag out of New York State in the last 20 years. Uh, but there's there's been some vision and management at the county level like I haven't seen paralleled in any of the places where we do development. And that's from, you know, South Florida to Northern Vermont, um, you know, West almost to Texas. Well, we've been doing development for since before I was born, but I've been managing partner of our company now for about 12 years. And um, it's been really heartening to see what's happening in Onondaga County. And I'm you know, I have to plug Ryan McMahon for it. Yeah. I, anybody who ever has any criticism for him, I say to them point blank, what is happening in this county? You can directly point to one person saying, "What are we doing here?" Right. And actually, just willfully pushing through with no, by the way, with no regard for his political future and doing it. Yeah. Because the county was fifty and sixty million dollars deep into pushing to make all this work. Wow. And now it's working, mm-hmm. and they're going to get. Talk about the ROI on that investment. Sure, it's right. just unbelievable. So, so what, yeah. what's your involvement with Lakeshore Country Club? Let's start there. So Hart Lyman acquired that property. Um, it was meant to, it was supposed to be acquired in uh, uh, spring of 2018. We sort of accelerated that and, and ended up buying it actually late in 2017. I can't believe it's been that long. And uh, we, we really bought it as a, a, a real estate development opportunity that would include a golf component in, in the future. Um, mm-hmm. As we all know, COVID hit. That yeah. kind of put us all on on delay. Um, we've sort of gotten the wheels back on the bus. Um, we then made this great Northern Mall acquisition, uh, and it sort of has – they're two totally separate projects, but they are um, – I would say the Great Northern Project is giving a lot of thrust mm-hmm. to the Lakeshore Project. Very different 
uh, projects, but right. so talk so about Great Northern. There's some synergy there, right? For right, sure. right. Yeah. Talk about Great Northern because I've uh, um, referred to the Great Northern Mall for many years as the Great Nothing Mall. Um, but prove me wrong. So what's going on? Well, no, I, I think you'd be accurate with the Great the Great Nothing Mall. It was it was uh, it was acquired by an out of town group. Um, gosh, from Mesa Rich about uh, eight years ago. Uh, they struggled with it. Uh, we acquired it from them uh, with a partner, Conifer uh, Realty, which is, uh, they're actually Rochester based. They've got a big office down in New Jersey as well. Um, great people. We've had a great experience with them and they are our you know, we, we are, we are, it's a marriage really. It's so a, what's going to happen well, with the space? Well, first uh, explain yeah. the, um, how it's uh, put together because you know, we got our, yeah. our guy, Joe Bright, who yep. bought the one piece and then the anchor stores, I guess there are different. And so ma- so malls, uh, the, any mall you go to the anchor stores in the mall are, you are usually almost always owned by the, what you would think is the tenant. So Macy's oh, okay. and Macy's at Destiny okay. Mall is owned by Macy's. They own that box. The Lord and Taylor box that closed is, I believe, still owned by Lord and Taylor. They oh, may have no sold kidding. that to Pyramid by now, but yeah. So, so yeah. when those boxes kind of go dark in these malls, that sort of is the beginning of a real problem. Or, or if right. the mall is really failing, then the bo- boxes start to struggle. So, uh, yeah, there's the Sears box, mm-hmm. which is owned by. Uh, Jim, Jim Rinaldi and his uh, group. Okay. Uh, his son is doing a great job over there. Those guys are great guys. They're, they're What's happening to that? Yeah. Box? So what are they going to do? You know, it's, it's theirs, but I'll tell you, they have a, far, there's a pharmaceutical uh, company, mail order company going in there. Oh, I think wow. it is. And okay. I don't want to misstate it. Right. But right. I also know Sky Zone is going in there. So okay, it's, so it's happening and, at that end. Oh yeah. They've got yeah. some stuff going and, and on. And then Joe Bright at the front end. Joe, Joe Bright at the front end, uh, great guys. We met with them, sure. and they've uh, are some of our my people are, are, are meeting with some of their people now. <laughs> and, and over here, I just saw I saw uh, was copied on an email the other day that there there's some meetings happening, and ve- I think everybody's just happy to have each other in yeah, that yeah. situation. And then the the group in the back, there's a, there's a self storage that took over the old Bontown box, okay. And that that guy is his, his name is Ted Filer, but. They own, I think, sixty or seventy. Yeah. It's a sharp late data. Projects. You can see it. Yeah, okay. you know, and, and as an amenity for what <clears throat> we're doing with that project. So talk actually, about what you're doing. And, yep. Yeah. So here, here's here's our deal. Um, you will see there likely over a thousand multifamily units on top of uh, uh, shop space uh, that'll include you know national retail tenants. Uh, uh, restaurants, entertainment district. So they're apartments or condos? What are they? So multi, yeah, they're apar- apartments. Uh, you know, everything from workforce to luxury will be in that in Not that sure. site. So you'll okay. have, you know, you'll ha- you'll have people in there that are that are working hopefully at Micron mm-hmm. and yes. uh, at, at all sort of socioeconomic levels. Um, and there will be a major healthcare component at the site, I believe, as well. Uh, we're working on that. Like a gymnasium and and health food store or a uh, Whole I ex- Foods? <laughs> I expect that there'll be some grocery element. Okay, I do. I, um, I, I personally like Trader Joe's, but we'll yeah, see if we yeah. can get them to, to make the deal. Right, <laughs> we got to right. work on them. What's the timeline for this vision and this thing to run? Well, yeah. so, so look at time is money in these kind of projects. We closed. Uh, there is There, there are uh, ongoing expenses. We are having... Uh, I would say between our company Conifer and our professionals, if I were to attend every every Zoom call and every meeting, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have been able to like breathe this morning, let right. alone come wow. here. So there is a lot of activity happening in the background. Okay, uh, I would say you will see us in front of the uh, town of Clay in the near term with an application uh, for a planned development there. Okay. Um, so five years from so, now, people are going to drop their jaw and go, holy smokes, I remember yeah, there, what there this was. there will be a mostly completed project, I would think, in, in that okay. period of time. So we're going to see a lot of construction over the next several years. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, maybe nothing we can touch and feel, but but it'll be going on. Y- yeah. Then it, 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 things will open in phases. But okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. 
Excellent. Well, wow, man, there's so much to go. We could keep them on forever hey, yes, talking about we'll this. Have to stuff. get them back. Please come back again uh, so that we can keep people informed. You know, we'll do. And thank you for all you do because I think this is so important. This is this is real development, man. You know, all, all the way up and down the Lakeshore corridor. And remember, so. Tom doesn't golf, but I do. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we can work That's something right. out. <laughs> all right. That's Guy Hart Jr., managing partner and lead developer of Hart Lyman Companies. Uh, HLCOS.com. HL lcos.com you can go online and uh, check that out thank you guy and you have a great rest of the day thank you thanks fellas all right john kupperman's coming up next owner of smith restaurant supply right here on the local show on 570 wsyr don't go away welcome back to the local show a service of gettys federal savings and loan and safe harbor wills and trusts the local show featuring conversations with business owners employees and local business leaders about their successes challenges and reasons for doing business right here in central new york the local show locally produced by zoe advertising now here are your hosts Tom and Steve. We're back again, and that means you are too. Thank you for joining us on this weekend with Tom and Steve. This is the local show where we champion local businesses and to introduce you to the owners and uh, the stories that go behind some of these businesses that have been built for generations. So you, you're wandering out to the fair this weekend? Tom? You know, I think I'm going to try. Uh, I don't know if we'll have time. We might have to wait till during the week uh, to, to do don't stuff. Don't you have a job? Um, yeah, yes. And, and then, uh, you know, no, I got uh, just got a gig later on today, and yeah, I course, see where your priorities are. Yeah, we got a gig. We've got uh, Gloria's birthday on Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there we go. That's right. <laughs> All sorts of stuff going that's on. That's right. Um, so mom's mom's, mom's birthday till, ninety. Yeah, this weekend. So we got to we got to take care of that. But then uh, we'll we'll go and we'll do some walk arounds, and you know, we want to go uh, say congratulations to uh, our guy who it was on the local show as the interim director of the state there fair, we go. Sean yeah. Hennessy, and then uh, now he's. The boom, full-on just director. like that. We gave him all kinds right. of garbage about being the interim director, and boom, he's permanent. Well, now we better get those darn tickets. What, I else, what else should we talk about? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can do that anymore. I don't know. They, they, they're, pretty, they're pretty squeaky. I like the, the some of the things that are going on, and some of it, I feel like there's yeah. loss. Yes. I mean, I'm still mourning the loss of the racetrack. Right, yeah. You, you okay, like the racetrack, because that yeah. was that to me, that was, was history, and yeah, as well, a kid, and fast cars, right? Sure, because you're a hick. There's no I doubt. Am, yeah. There's no question. I'm a red, I, <laughs> My fine. fishing pole in my, uh, my my redneck ways. I don't, right. I don't apologize for that. But, uh, you know, uh, okay. the grandstand. Yeah. All those all things. That I, I hear you. Uh, let's talk with John Kupperman right now uh, and have a conversation with him. He's the owner of Smith Restaurant Supply. SmithRestaurantSupply.com. How are you there, John? Very fine, thanks. Good to have you again. Uh, tell us about what's been going on up there. Do you, do you get slower during the, the uh, summertime or do you get ramped up over there? You know, June is sometimes a little bit slow, but we have just been slamming. I Good. Mean, just, it has I been like so busy. That. You, you know, know why? Knock on it, wood. You know why? Why? It, You're on the local show. Right. Yeah, well, <laughs> being on the local show is that's part, right? are, are people, No, you told me once, people recognize your voice. They do. Yeah. That's funny. They do. Almost uh, every day somebody <laughs> says, I, I hear you on the, you know, <laughs> are you the guy on the local show? It's yeah. Like, yeah. That's wonderful. And then they walk out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's so, what you look like. <laughs> for people who uh, know your iconic building that was uh, downtown, uh, you know, I get, yeah, you would call that downtown, right? Yeah. 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 So uh, now if you go east from your old location all the way up to... Um, the uh, oh, past um, and I, I forget. We're between that Thompson Road and Bridge that, Street. The, the, those are the. <laughs> it roads. is a little bright bridge, Thompson, Middle or Teal. There is yeah. a little bit of a, across just, from Texas Roadhouse. That's the thing, things, right? Yep, yep. across yep. from Texas Roadhouse. And you've been up there for about three years now. Actually, it's three four, and a half. Three and a half, oh almost gosh. four years. Yeah. So uh, you can go up there, folks. Uh, a little bigger of a place, uh, you know, laid out very well. Lots of parking. Yes. Uh, you know, and uh, real easy to get to, and you can very see it from easy the road. to get in and out of. Yeah, yeah. No more backing into Erie Boulevard. And, <laughs> right, know. right, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, wonderful place up there. What is selling uh, right now? What, what what have you have you stocked up for anything? Like, like have you seen any trends? And you say, boy, we, we ought to carry a lot of this at this time of year. Well, now it's uh, harvest time. Oh, everybody's harvest, canning. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, canning. So not everybody's canning, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, a lot of people are. Tom, are you canning? <laughs> Gloria is. She okay, makes pickles. my mom is. That's she okay, makes that's pickles. Fair. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, that is one thing right around now. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, the state fair, um, we get a lot of business coming in off of that. Oh, really? Why, sure, why the, is that? The vendors. Oh, the uh, vendors. They come into town yeah. and they 
you forgot something or need something. Okay. Sometimes they get inspected and they're they're required to come and get, get you know, certain a things. thermometer or you know right. sanitizer and they come in. Very um, nice. There's been a noticeable uptick in business uh, this past week because of that. They're setting up, you know, they're up and running and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and then, of course, uh, people want to stay uh, sharp and and bright, so they have your coffee. That's right. <laughs> and Always you have, coffee, uh, never, never big s- variety. Of coffee. So, Tom, I played the coffee snob when I was down uh, in the Jersey Shore here. Oh, yes. uh, last weekend, and I, 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 uh, I, I didn't. T- did I tell in you, Tom? Way? In okay, what so, way? Did you so do here's that? what I did. <laughs> this is you, you're going to believe me. I think. Yeah. Um, I rented uh-huh. a scooter. All right. That I believe. Okay. And it was bombing around Tom on the scooter because I didn't want to drive. I came up and there was a coffee shop called Purple Haze. Yes, of course. And uh, and I went in, got a cup of coffee, and it was really good coffee. Mm -hmm. And I got, I said, where'd you get? He goes, it's roasted fresh. And he, there's a coffee place right up the road. And I said, oh, I have a friend who's a coffee snob um, that I know. (laughs) You know, of course. Sideways. And um, and you could tell, you really could tell. Sure. And he he went into the the whole bean and the whole thing. and, And I felt like I... I belonged in the conversation, but it made me think of the way you guys do it over there. Sure. I mean, that it's tried and true. I mean, it's freshness and it's quality. So you yeah. start off with green beans and then yeah. you roast them. Yeah, but there's different grades of green beans. Okay. Okay. And so when I buy them, I buy the, the best grade. Mm-hmm. They're called different things, you know, like Supremo and Double A and things right. like that. But so you're starting with a very high quality product and then we roast it. Mm-hmm. We Obviously, 35 years into it, we've got the technique down. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. And then we want to make sure that people uh, consume it within a couple of weeks while it's at its peak freshness. Right. Yeah. You don't want it sitting around. And you have all the devices and paraphernalia uh, up Everything there. Everything from the, filters, grinders, brewers, French presses, you name it, we've got it. Yeah. yeah. Knives. No. Yeah. Knives. <laughs> sharp knives. You don't use a knife to make coffee, I don't think. No. No. But you can get a bunch of spoons and things like that. Yeah. But I, I have to still come up and, and get knives before the holidays kick in because I am not going to tear apart another uh, turkey. Yeah, I, I, li- <laughs> no. I, 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 I like No. I like I really apart. enjoy my knives. Yeah. yeah. I, I really do. Set. And I use the sharpener that I got, you know, a little bit, and, and it, you can tell it makes a big difference. Sure. A couple sweeps through, and I'm... You know, I'm like the guy cutting tomato that you right. can see through on TV. Yeah, if you <laughs> use the, if you use the honing steel or the honing part of that sharpener, you don't have to come in and have us sharpen your knives maybe once a year, right? Um, you know, as so long as you maintain them. You're yeah. Good to Do you go. have anything that could sharpen his wit? So I know they're not supposed to go in the dishwasher, but um, hand wash. I, I don't have to worry because uh, I won't tell on my wife because she doesn't listen to the show. But uh, <laughs> <'Cause> you don't <laughs> so, do the dishes. So sometimes I'm retrieving like, no, let's not do that. Well, and she misses it. But it didn't like kill. It's just not the best thing for it, right? No, yeah. it is not good. And the worst thing for anything metal is like a lemon based detergent. Oh, oh really? really? Oh, yeah. That. That'll pit. Um, mm-hmm. the knives and uh, your silverware too. And do you ever take a Teflon coated pan and cut the meat in the pan? Oh, good Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah once and then their yeah. pan's done. <laughs> right. You got to get rid of it. You're not uh, supposed to do that. Teflon's not good. Uh, Teflon is actively bad once it starts to peel or it's sliced. Oh, no. That could explain a lot about me. So <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be ingesting that stuff. Okay. Right, right. When, when it's intact, it's okay. But there's there's pans that are not they're stick uh, no stick pans that aren't Teflon. Now we've got them. They're they're ceramic. Uh, oh, the, the coating ceramic is ceramic, yeah. and the line we we can actually use metal utensils in them. Oh, so wow. you could actually cut in them. So oh, you, my wife would love really that. Cool. So hang on, <laughs> do you sell those? Yeah. So ceramic, oh, that's, oh, that's, I, it's, it, yeah. it's very, very good. What else should people come and see you for right now? The newest thing in is the uh, Uni pizza oven, the electric okay. version. Oh, we got so you can plug, version. yeah, you can plug it in either inside or outside 90, mm-hmm. 90 seconds to heat up and then. 12 inch pieces every 60 seconds after that. See, I've seen Tom's new kitchen, Tom. Yeah, see him? Yeah, see yeah, his yeah. eyes? I, 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 I did. Yeah. I did. I was we're, I was uh, over his house uh, this last week, and, yeah. uh, and that would be really good. <laughs> um, the well, carb count, though, is just way too high on a pizza. Yeah, well, well, I like that stuff. Sure. Come on. <laughs> Do the uh, cauliflower uh, dough. Yeah. That's right. Hey, you know what? I think if you use Columbus dough, you can do whatever you want. Sure. <laughs> it's everything. It's all good. All right. That's John Kupperman right there, owner of Smith Restaurant Supply. Get up to the store, ask for his dulcet tones, and he'll come out and help you with anything. Uh, SmithRestaurantSupply.com. SmithRestaurantSupply.com. You have a great rest of the day. Thanks very much. All right. Kick it off. Hour number two of the local show. We're going to have a conversation with Sev Ganella. He's the owner of Clean All Syracuse. Matt Major stops by. 
by founder of your local IT department, Brian Dumond, president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. And then Natasha Schmidt, co-owner of Rubberstone, New York. Stick around. They're all in hour number two of The Local Show, which starts really soon. It's The Local Show on News Radio 570 WSYR, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts. Tom and Steve. Welcome back and welcome in. This is our number two of The Local Show. Get ready for engaging interviews with Seb Ganella, owner of Clean All Syracuse, Matt Major, founder of your local IT department, Brian Dumond, president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan, and then Natasha Schmidt, owner, uh, co-owner of Rubberstone New York. And now we say hello to... Sav. Hey guys, how you doing? Good buddy, how are you? Fantastic. Thought you were gonna say hello to me, Tom. Hello, Steve. <laughs> hello, Tom. I'm surprised you didn't uh, run over and grab a funnel cake in between things. Uh, is it, do you have favorite fair foods? Uh, you know, interesting that you ask that. Uh, yes, of course, I, I love a blooming onion, but um, I went to a restaurant not too long ago. Nicholas, our, our 16 year old, dragged us out to one of the steakhouses. Can I say the, which one? Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. So we go to Texas Roadhouse. Best blooming onion I've ever tasted. Really? Put yeah. everything at the state fair to shame. Oh. So now I'm afraid to go get one because I think it's a waste of money. Did you go to the one across from Smith's yeah. Restaurant Supply in Erebola? Or did you go to the one up by my place? One up by our, your place. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and it was just wonderful. And it was half the cost of the state fair one. Yeah. Did, they, so, did you get yeehawed? Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they did do the so annoying. All that. It is annoying. <laughs> uh, but at the State Fair, I, I do like, uh, you know, all funnel cake's not bad. The pizza free. Do you like it, the roasted good. corn? Uh, no, I, you know, I've never had it. Oh, is yeah. Is it good? It's, yeah. it's very good. They, they, roast corn, yeah, yeah, they roast it and they charge you, you know, too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> for a That's piece of corn. the thing. You know, the yeah. prices are just yeah. uh, a little. You know what I like is drinking beer there. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll put a plug in for Bosco's because I like okay. their potatoes O'Reilly and their steak sandwiches are great. Now, where's Bosco's? Right on, this, on the restaurant's row. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I'll have to try that. I do the Utica people the because they got the Utica uh, tomato pie. Mm -hmm. Those uh, are your people and yeah, Seth's yeah, people. That's right. Absolutely. And I'll do their greens. They got nice. some good greens over there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and uh, what other fair food? Uh, it's more exciting than talking about chlorine, let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> uh, Utica greens. I had a Utica green and a pork belly omelet at Finally Ours. Oh, it really? Is it? I don't know where yeah. that is. That's uh, a family's one. up uh, near Marcellus. Have okay. you had a Utica green pizza? Oh, we yes, had that from one. a pizza regional. <laughs> oh, oh, that. I wish my mouth was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wanted to just put it all in my mouth. Well, anyway, we're talking with Seb Ganella. He's the owner of uh, Clean All Syracuse. Uh, your family's been in that kind of business for a long time, right? Sure. Yeah, about 95 years. My yeah, that's great all. My grandmother started selling bleach door to door, which yeah. is chlorine mixed with water. Isn't that something? Absolutely. It's and crazy. chlorine can be used for everything. In fact, we did use it for everything from antiseptic to, uh, to clean soup. the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So what, what do people find at Clean All currently in, in its current state? Sure. So where do we find us? Oh, no, no. Where, 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 what do, what do find? people find? Yeah, what well, kind of products? Find, well, in the swimming pool world, we do everything there is to do with swimming pools, commercially, mm -hmm. residentially. We have a retail store. We have a service team. We do everything. Do you but make them? Do you we build do them? Not build pools. <laughs> I knew everything that. Everything but we build <laughs> pools. So filtration systems, big and small. Uh, we did a filtration system for the city of Syracuse, Kirk Park pools. We did that filtration oh, yeah, system. Yeah. Um, we do water management programs where we come in and we go weekly or monthly where we take care of doing all the things that you need to do for the government. Uh, we test. We include chemistry. We rebuild, we replaster, retile new uh, components. Is the fall a good time? To, okay, you know, swimming season is sort of kind of over. Yeah, spring will be here in eight, nine short months. But hot, um, tub, hot tub season's starting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it the time to you know? Hey, we need to do work. We need to replace it or replaster. Is the fall a time to do that, or should you wait till next year? No, do what you can in the fall because spring is always the rush to who's trying to get things done first. We do a lot of indoor work. We've got uh, three plaster jobs coming up in October where our indoor 
hotel pools. Okay. Um, you know, if you're going to replace your liner when in the spring when the water table's high is not a good time to replace your liner because you get underground water. So get it done in the fall. Oh. As long as it's not uh, below 40, 45, you can do these things. So do them now and get them over with. So in the spring, you yeah. Know, so if someone water. wanted a quote or get a look at it, they can uh, call you. Absolutely. Uh, I'll just give the number real quick: four seven two nine. 189 uh, 472-9189 uh, clean LCNY so they can get a quote okay what's it going to cost that's more than I thought I don't want to yeah. do it that's less but they can at least figure it out right. well it's Plan a big investment it. why not have somebody like clean all in your corner uh, for, for your um, toys yeah. Uh, yeah. tell me about uh, hot tubs you have a hot tub you like the therapeutic uh, aspects of, of your hot tub is this a gr good climate to have a hot tub and can you use it in the summertime I drop my temperature down so i do use it occasionally but not as much but not as much okay so so it's not really meant to be used in hot weather if you want it as a therapy where you want hot water to soak okay you know if i'm feeling i got some back issues you know i'll crank it back up even in the summer to mm -hmm. be able to sit in there and get that therapeutic what about that cold water thing, that shock thing that people do with the cold water? Oh, yeah, it yeah. gives them their... Yeah. their like, is, is Tony, that, Tony Robbins. Me? Yeah, Tony <laughs> Robbins right? dives in the cold there's a, water. There's a term day. for yeah. it where you, you shock your body. Yeah, stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That wouldn't be me. So. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, my uh, wife and I argue. About, so I'm 104. You know, that's where you keep it. And my oh, wife's like, wow. she won't go in 140. 101, she's good. 100. But she rarely uses it. So a yeah. couple of days, I'll keep it at 100. And then she won't use it. I'll put it back to 104. Are you in it like every day? Probably three or four nights. Yeah. So so starting here, you know, coming up, especially in October. Sure. Uh, yeah, what do we know? September. <laughs> yeah, yes, so, right. so in September, when things get really cool at night, hot tubs are the way to go. Right. Yeah, and, and then you can use them. You could probably use a hot tub longer than you can use your pool. Around here, yes. Yeah. So I'll use. So I'll go to bed at night, and, and my hot tub is, I have a, a porch off my bedroom down the stairs in the hot tub right there. If, if it's 12, 1 o'clock, and I have trouble sleeping, achy, I'll go down like a zombie, get yeah, in the hot right. tub, 15 minutes, walk back upstairs, and I'm out like a light. Can people leave it out there all year, even the winter? I mean, oh, yeah, you got to, yeah. You, I you, mean, they can leave it, they can, can they eat water in it? I mean, just, oh, it no, probably costs a lot of energy to keep it hot, though, right? The better hot tubs, the less energy you use because they're really heavily insulated. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and you have to treat them, you know, somebody like you could help somebody maintain that. Absolutely. Because you don't want mold yeah. and mildew yeah. and all that stuff growing in it. Yeah. yeah. So we were down to the Jersey Shore uh, here uh, not that long ago, and the pool at the hotel? Yeah. Don't need a lifeguard. There's, there's like 40 people in the pool. Everything's fine. Up here, where we are, you don't have a lifeguard. The pool is closed. Um, help me understand what, what uh, uh, what's the deal. Is New Jersey more free in their laws than New York? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. There you go. There's your answer. It's the law, right? So, so yeah. So, unless you're a... Um, uh, F, what a the homeowners Association. Right. Pool, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, HOA is hotel, what you, right, Thank you very much. Yes. HOA <laughs> or your hotel pool where the depth is four feet or less, you need a lifeguard. In, mm. in places like country clubs, they're having troubles. They're having trouble because getting lifeguards is yeah. not staying open. Like your place, the same thing. Yeah, we mean, it's a big, nice apartment complex, right. but it's is there a lifeguard? Oh, there's no lifeguard. And it's annoying because you got <laughs> right. two months of yeah. decent weather and now they can't keep it hey, uh, interesting question for you. you these water parks like you know my my daughter's down in in disney right now and she goes to typhoon lagoon a lot sure. uh, it, it, does a company like you, you i mean are those places safe i guess you know chemically are, is all the water's treated nicely right all every place is controlled by mm -hmm. the health departments the response for checking the pool water three times a day they're running they're running good shows okay yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a, something to be concerned about, yeah. water parks. Uh, how's your pool coming, Tom? Yeah, get, get out of here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a patio. I got a neighbor. I must have some neighbors, right? Yes, and I do have neighbors yeah. that, that have the pools. <laughs> I mean, do you really want a pool? Uh, not not anymore. I'm, I'm really not into it that much. Do you much. use your neighbor's pool? No, no, we, we just don't. And you, know, and you don't want to be that, that fair weather uh, neighbor Why not? that goes, you know. <laughs> Hi, hey, we got a batch of cookies and a pie for you. Can I use your pool? Well, no, I said, come by the store. I'll give you a bucket of tablets. You can oh, that right. Say, here, yes. here's some chlorine for your pool. Yeah. You know, certainly. And I'm not looking for an invite at all. Uh, this cost wink, me wink. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's uh, all about pools. Up. Yes. Yes to chlorine. Uh, Geddes and Erie Boulevard, Erie Boulevard West. West. You can walk in there. You, I, I know because you know what you're talking about. Yeah. 
Uh, that's clean out, huh? All right. Thank you very much, Sev, and you have a great rest of the day. Okay? I enjoyed this. Thanks. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Matt Major and get all your technology questions answered. He's the founder of your local IT department. We'll have a conversation with him on the local show on 570 WSYR. Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back again, and we'll keep coming back like a bad penny. That's Tom and Steve here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR 106.9 FM, and of course, the uh, YouTube channel. You know, we were just uh, talking about um, IT things, you know, information technology for those of you keeping up with things. And I did have a book. Uh, there was a, there was a time where I thought, man, I'm really gonna, I'm going to build websites. I got the technology background and everything. I had two books. Um, HTML5 yeah. and the big thick one and for the radio like listeners Tom's holding phone his hands yeah. six yeah. miles yeah. apart right now yeah. <laughs> those things were were thick books and I, I thought man if I could just really grab onto this it's going to be great and by the time I learned HTML5 everything had changed Yeah, <laughs> everything I, was flash the way it goes I, I can't even spell HTML um, the, uh, so so uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, you want to introduce him or do you want no, me to no I'm going to talk about my own problems so oh, my okay. phone <laughs> took a, my to- phone took a security update oh. overnight you wake up and your phone is That'll yes. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, put the password in. Okay, put the and then and I was away. It was on the you know it was right, weekend. Right. Where was it? And I'm like, okay. And was, then every website I went to, it said it wasn't secure. Oh, oh interesting. It was wow. like not not. It was it was it was did sketchy. You, did you ever get an updated phone, or are you yes. still using? Okay. Yes, I did. It's it's. I'm up to an yeah. iPhone too. No, it's more than that. <laughs> and, uh, so, you're so Apple, and I yeah. restarted it and it failed, but it was like right. It, it was suspicious. So okay. uh, so yeah, well, Islanders, Matt, lo- yes, yes, Matt Major, uh, the founder of your local IT company, yes, um, formerly that other thing, uh, Growth Mode Technology, which That's is kind of what they do. But your local IT right. is crisper. So you know that person that. Uh, other than your 13 year old daughter, they can do <laughs> IT and fix your phone. This is Matt over here. So, uh, so Matt, yeah. how'd you get into the business of being this this uh, IT uh, guy? Well, I've been a nerd forever <laughs> since right. I was that 13 year. I wasn't yeah. a 13 year old girl, but uh, <laughs> you can wear that like a you can wear that like yes. a badge. Uh, yeah. today. It's a whole different show. Uh, <laughs> Oh God! I, uh, I, I actually started when I was 14 at a local computer shop and uh, I, I'd been interested in it for, for whatever reason, my parents, when I was even younger, when, you know, the personal computer was just starting sure. to come about, right. uh, they bought one when I was very young and, and I just sort of got into that. And then when I got to uh, the age where you could get a job, uh, 14, apparently. Yeah. Well, you, had, you know, get to work in papers and you can do, you know, uh, weekends in the summer and sure. stuff. And, uh, I worked at a local computer shop, customized computer room was the name of it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, learned all kinds of things about the business and everything. And from there just kind of grew my career from, uh, right. you know, uh, sort of freelance as well as, uh, you know, yeah. in charge of different, uh, organizations and all kinds of things of that nature. Right. Well, of course, the things have changed. IT has uh, become to, to mean a lot of different things. First, it was, you know, taking things from a mainframe, putting it on the, uh, the personal computer and migrating all that. Then learning all about the personal computer and how you can network those together. Right. Exactly. Uh, and then all, then how does the personal computer link with the phone system and link with a copier in, in an office building and all that. So you'd kind of do all of that, right? Yeah. You, you sort of have it. to these yeah. days, you know, it started when I started out, it wasn't even a, a phrase, you know, I just started out, sure. we, we worked on computers. That yeah, was, so. that was as descriptive <laughs> as you had to get. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then we, you know, we got into this world where it's it and exactly everything that you said, all these different devices, all these different pieces suddenly come together. They're on the internet, they're on the same network. Right. And, and that's something that we're managed. So to do that job effectively, we, we have to, do that and we have to evolve. And uh, right. that's one of the biggest things there is in this business. And, and one of, unfortunately, one of the uh, downfalls I see of a lot of folks these days where they are not evolving with the technology. Mm-hmm. So we've hit a, a massive uh, uh, jump in speed here. In just the last five years, sure. things are radically different in this industry than they were ever before. Yeah, but look, um, so, so uh, beep up, back up, beep, beep, beep. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Yep. So, so if, if, you know, I want my things to work. Sure. Okay. I don't want to have to be the guy that uh, the IT person thing. Isn't that, am I, am I unusual? Be quiet, Tom. Am I unusual in that space? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, and that's why we exist, right? So okay. um, that whole thing, it has become so complicated and something that you need to stay up with that even if it's, you know, you're running a business and maybe you're also interested in tech. I know a lot of, you know, business owners that, that they're yeah, kind of yeah. that way. Um, unless it's your full-time job, you're not going to be able to keep up and properly uh, manage things for yourself. Right. And that's where we've come in. And, and, you know, it used to be, uh, a lot of things are what we used to call backwards compatible, right? Uh, you could use something sort of new today and that would still work with the old stuff right, and people right. for the longest time, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Right. These days it is broke, whether you think it is or not. Uh, because we have among other things, a lot of security risks, things of that nature that, uh, old systems, old software, eventually they stop updating it. Uh, and then you, the bad guys don't stop attacking it though. So it becomes a vulnerability and we can no longer sort of ignore these things. We have to move forward. Well, how big of a security component is there in your business? So it's uh, large and rapidly growing, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Uh, the way uh, IT security or cybersecurity used to work was a lot like a specialist at a doctor's, right? You had us that was kind of like your general practitioner. And then if something was wrong, you'd go to, you know, you had a heart problem. Well, they'd send you to the cardiologist. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like they would only come to play if something went wrong. Same when in IT, there would be our, our general stuff, but then something serious, you had a breach, we'd bring in the cybersecurity experts. Right. Now we can't do that. Now we got to bring that cardiologist into the general right from the office from, yeah. from day one. And that's what so, we're trying so to do. So for companies that you work with, and they're, and they're primarily companies, right? Absolutely. So this isn't, uh, you know, we'll leave my mom out of it, but this isn't yeah, my right. mom. This is people that have networks and maybe, maybe they have uh, three or five or 10 or 50 or 100 employees they right, connect. Right, to, right. They don't have to hire like a security. A friend of mine does cybersecurity for mm -hmm. a Fortune 500 company. That's all he does. Yes. So, so in that respect, you kind of do that too. Yeah, we're we're looking, and again, we're rapidly building that. The biggest challenge with that is getting the right kind of talent, like uh, sure, like yeah, your friend yeah. there, to do it because they're in high demand. But um, as we are adding uh, that talent and those abilities, that's more of the uh, stuff that's going to be baked right into our kind of core offerings. So yeah. uh, we do a lot of that now. And, and like I said, we're just trying to uh, expand on that. But that's that's exactly it. It's such a critical thing from not only the risks to you, but the compliance. Yeah. There's all kinds of laws and regulations, especially if you're in a, a variety of industries, you've got them coming from eight different directions. And just to run your business now, you've got to be able to uh, demonstrate a lot of things, not even just check the box, but demonstrate it. And I would imagine that uh, your company are uh, a team of synergy experts, me being able to take all of the technologies and make them work together. Uh, people don't realize, or maybe they do, that, you know, you got to refer, my refrigerator can talk to my stove and sure. talk to my phone and then turn on my lights. So in a company, uh, everything's talking to everything. And there's communication protocols. And when one of those cogs is broken, Everything's who do you right. call? hundred right? percent, hundred percent. It's all, you know, like, like you said, all of these things are now connected. There's things in business, especially in manufacturing that we call IOT, internet of technology. Uh, uh, and these are individual little devices that you have. They might be temperature monitors. They might be something that keeps an eye on a machine, whether or not it's running right. And they're all on a network and they're reporting things. And uh, interconnected. And when one goes down, it discovers a machine's down, it sends an email to the management and it does these different things that, you sure. know, can be fully automated or, or at least, uh, alert the right folks Br at the right brief time. Brief and amazing. What's uh, one or two mistakes that people make that, uh, they shouldn't, that causes trouble. Um, one of the biggest mistakes they make is just sort of ignoring, uh, issues that are popping up and go, ah, we'll get to that later. Or, or you know, I don't need to mm -hmm. worry about that too much. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, uh, like anything, if you got an issue, jump on it and, and see if we can't resolve it before it becomes a bigger issue. Right. Uh, what's, uh, really quickly, since the holidays are just around the corner, <laughs> what's, what's the, the life cycle of a, a laptop computer? Uh, you know, it's hard to say a good one. You can get a number of years out of, and a lot of times, uh, even ones that are a little older, you can jump some more memory in. you can do something and, and keep them going a little longer. But, uh, in a business, I love to replace them in three years. Yeah. Uh, accountants hate to hear that. They want right. to go four to five years right, in a business. I would uh, avoid going anything over five years. There you go. Well, that's Matt Major. You need Matt Major and, uh, your local IT department. So give them a call. Uh, check out the website. It's local 
IT. And is it D E P T? Or could they try to Any way you want to spell it, we'll get you there. Oh, okay. LocalITDepartment.com. LocalITDepartment.com. You have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Tom. All right. Coming up next, Brian Dumond, the president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan, right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back. We're back. And that means you are too. We're so happy to have you on this weekend. Know you got a lot to do. Maybe we're uh, booming somewhere at the New York State Fair. Can you imagine one of those um, turrets or tents or <laughs> anything? Well, you know, having the local show blasting right yeah, now? Well, if you're at the State Fair, come by and see us. Uh, <laughs> we're not there. <laughs> come by and see us. <laughs> we're there in effigy. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the stations are there, and that's good. But yeah. uh, let's just be clear, Tom. Um, we're never going to sit there. For two weeks and talk to them. can we can we do that can we I, agree to that i broadcasted from a an rv when i was in radio <laughs> <laughs> we went down and it was fun because we'd get there like early in the morning i was doing mornings at the time and uh it, it was great there was nobody there right. and you could just smell some of the stuff starting to cook the garbage and it was yeah, the garbage <laughs> and the garbage yes uh that mix is a beautiful mix yes, it yeah. is. and uh we had a ball doing that but you know those were the radio days it gets long after three oh, or four it days does. doesn't it yeah well and then you get every tom dick and harry who you know Sometimes Tom Dixon and Harry's can't be yeah, real fun no, people. It's, the fair. <laughs> it, it's it's you don't know, know who you're gonna talk to. <laughs> well, look, uh, tell me about Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. You got about uh, 20 seconds. Well, Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. Uh, um, my friend John Murphy, my friend Marie, and the team over there. They are. Um, protecting homes and life savings, and they do it every day. And I mentioned before, right now, we're just finalizing our own plan. Judy and I, were finalizing our own uh, decisions. And yes. there's a lot of questions that are really good questions that they ask. And you go, hmm, I never thought of that. And it just, uh, it makes us feel good that things are in the right place. And that even like um, we're, gonna, we're setting up a trust and that way my, my family doesn't have to go through probate and that saves a lot of money and makes it simpler. So um, if you haven't done it, uh, seriously consider it over at safeharborwillsandtrust.com, Tom. There we go. All right. It's our pleasure right now to bring back on to the show, Brian Dumond. He's the president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. How are you, Brian? I am doing great. How are you guys? Good. It's great to see you. I, I thought about you the other day. Uh, I was talking to one of my um, brides, and she was saying that after they got married, they weren't going on a honeymoon right away, and they were going to see a concert, and they were going to go see the Goo Goo Dolls. Uh -huh. And I know that you're a big concert goer, and I'm wondering, were you a Goo Goo Dolls Fan? I, I was not a Goo Goo Dolls oh, fan, okay. but do you know where I was recently? Where? Second row, Turning Stone Casino. Oh, I know who was there. My man. Here it goes. Barry Manilow. <laughs> oh, Barry, that's right. He did. How was that concert? I've seen Barry Manilow probably five times now. Okay. <laughs> and he has seemed to get better. So for a while, Gosh. he was declining because... He's getting he's older. older. Yeah, yeah, he's getting And for some reason, this show, the guy was moving. He was singing phenomenally. Jeez, that's great. It was God wonderful. And uh, we, I said, I'm going to, you know, he gets to uh, a certain age. You yeah. wonder if he's going to be coming back in five years. <laughs> sure. So I said, this is the year you I'm paying there. up, and I'm going to go for the good seats. Did he do all the, the good stuff, all oh, the great he songs? he did, and the whole place was singing yeah. right along. It was like the Copacabana time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all yeah. the ladies walking in with their boas for oh, Copacabana. Oh, yeah, and, sure. And had he not done that song, there, right. there would have been, been a, a riot. Revolt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was it the encore? Uh, it was the last song he did before oh, okay. the encore, okay, yeah. so. Oh, very nice. So, well, that's great. I'm glad you had a good time there. But you have an eclectic taste. I mean, you're not just uh, Barry. You you like the rock bands too, and all, all that. Uh, the Who oh, and yeah. Sticks are are my 
two favorites. So wow. I tend to like music that starts at one level yeah. and then builds. And then at the end is at like this crescendo yep, yep. where where you're like on a high and you're ready to pump your fist in the air. <laughs> and if you think about it, all of Barry Manilow's songs start with one key. Yep. And then about three quarters of the way through, Big he key goes change. that yep. key change yeah. for the, uh, the pump it up at the end. And, true. Uh, to the point of no return. Yeah. It builds up. <laughs> yeah. I love Barry. I mean, I used to sing a lot of Barry, you know, when I was in the live band stuff, but that's mm-hmm. great. Yeah. I'll let so you guys do when, that over when here. You're not, <laughs> you guys go ahead with Barry. I'm going to sit yeah. over here watch. When you're not spinning your old vinyl collection, uh, you're you're a bank manager <laughs> or a bank uh, president. A president. Yeah, that's so, correct. So um, tell us a little bit about Get Us Federal, why people should be uh, coming to you. Well, Get Us Federal is one of the very few local financial institutions that's left in the Syracuse area. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're in Westvale Plaza in the uh, Salve area, as well as in Limestone Plaza in Manlius. Mm-hmm. And so to find a truly local presence now is very, very difficult. Yeah, yeah. So that's the first thing. And when you have a local presence, you have people that are your friends and neighbors that understand you, that will talk to you. And when you come in with a problem, they can help you. Sure. Okay. But you're saying, but Brian, what <laughs> if I don't want to go in and see you? Brian, what if I don't want to go in and see you? I what, thought you might ask that. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I do? Yes. I'm stuck. Well, you know, I have the solution for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm in a mood, guys, so just roll with me here. No, right? that's okay. Um, we like we, your mood. We have uh, all this online stuff, so online application, online account opening, et cetera. So right. depending if it's the mortgage side or the savings side, we got you covered. Right. Okay, and then uh, speaking of the savings side, you know, uh, rates being what they are, can I get a CD that uh, makes me some money in the short term and the long term? Yes. Okay. How's that for a, 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 just a very That's, definitive answer? Is there yes. an asterisk in that? <laughs> terms and conditions apply? There, there is. I, I have the specials right here because I'm 59 mm-hmm. this weekend, and I am going to forget things. Happy birthday. Thank That's great. You. you don't look a day over 59. There you go. <laughs> Currently, Gettys Federal is running an 11-month special with a rate of 475 on a CD. Okay. Mm-hmm. With a, a yield of four eight six and a twenty six month special five point two zero rate five point three four yield, so <laughs> if you think about it, it was only a few years ago where mortgages were going for three percent. Right. So yeah. Your certificates of deposit mm-hmm. are going for high fours, low fives, which is phenomenal. Yeah. And that's a, sh- a year goes by like, I mean, 11 months, boom. Yeah. It's, it's gone. It's and true. even 26 weeks. And now I'm terrible with math. That's that's a little over two years, Tom. It was yeah. a little over <laughs> two years. So if I had 10 grand and I put it in, how yeah. much money would I make? More than what you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it compounds. So if I, so, so, you know. Do you remember those yeah. commercials back in the day where they did that to the kids <clears> and they had yeah. their fingers and they went blah, 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 yeah, with their yeah. fingers and they came up with the, the, the numbers? That always was amazing That's crazy, to me. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, certificates of deposit seem to have uh, fallen out of favor a little bit with the young people. They don't either know about them right. or understand them. Right. They put all their money in the in the market, and they see their 401ks going up, and they're excited and going down, <laughs> right. and they're panicking. Yeah. When you can get over 5% on guaranteed money. That was the word, guaranteed. F- FDIC insured. That's what I That's mean, wonderful. guaranteed. That's wonderful, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. How can you knock that? That's sure. phenomenal. And you do have still, even though the, the rates are a little higher right now, you have a variety of programs for uh, mortgages. We do. And I, we're, we're the, the people who are still making out very well are your first-time home buyers. Okay, mm-hmm. And first-time home buyer thinking, well, I had a home, but it was like five years ago and blah, 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 blah. You're still a first-time home buyer. That's if you wonderful. haven't owned a home in three years, you're considered first-time home buyer. Jeez, that, I, you I'm fall a, into I'm that a first-time home buyer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So That's with that, awesome. you get all kinds of special rates and, and discounts and everything um, should you apply for a mortgage and get us federal. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And and then, of course, you, if somebody just wanted a checking account, you got checking accounts and uh, 
all those types of things. Uh, uh, the, the, regular... now, the Manliest Branch, Tom, that diner next door to that Manliest Branch <laughs> is fabulous. Yes. Is it? Yes, right there at Limestone. Was that Limestone Plaza? Yes. It's called yeah. Limestone Plaza. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we were over there, so it was uh, absolutely stunning. It was delicious. Pe- people love it. Yeah. 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 And people love the people over at um, Geddes Federal. Brian, you're such a great guy down to earth. Thank you for all you do and all your people do. Thank you a lot, okay? Well, appreciate it. Thank you, Tom. All Thank right. you, Steve. President of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan right there. Next up, we're going to talk with Natasha Schmidt. She's the co-owner of Rubberstone, New York. Stick around for that conversation right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. You found your way back, and we do appreciate it right here on 570 WSYR. You've been listening to The Local Show. If you haven't been listening and you're just joining us now, welcome in. Uh, it's always a good time to join us here, uh, 106.9 uh, FM, as well as the YouTube channel. You can see everything on that YouTube channel. I'm getting more excited about the YouTube stuff. Are you? <clears throat> yeah. Do, I just, uh, you like you know, seeing like, video of yourself? No, I hate seeing video of me uh, because I am too heavy and very ugly. Uh, but I think that's a reason for people to tune in if you want to see. <laughs> you can rate yourself against me. If you want to feel good about you, you look at me and, uh, <laughs> and, and you'll be fine. But I, I just think it's cool. Uh, you know, the, really, we do live in a, in a media time where people are, they just don't want to listen. They want to see it. They want to see everything that. in action, yeah, you mean, know? And I've shared before, I was a kid with a shortwave radio. Yeah. And I thought it was cool the way that <clears throat> could connect the world. Sure. And I could hear uh, South Africa would come in and they spoke English. So right, you could hear it and understand right. it. And you would he- hear other countries certainly not speaking English. And I wonder where that is. And I had a map. And so the world got smaller and, and, uh, in right. video, you know, I've been a kid with a camera since I was 12. Yeah. So this combines, it kind of combines worlds. those pictures. And, and um, yeah. so, and I spend, it, like you spend a lot of time on YouTube. Right. Now, you know, that's not to say that when you're working around and you got your, your earbuds in and stuff, right. you want to listen to a podcast, but we got that too. So we got the best of both yeah. worlds. Even on YouTube, so. I'll go, I'll, I'll put something on, have the headset on. Yeah. I'm not watching it and I'm doing something else. And you're else. doing something else. Yeah, sure. It makes sense. All right. Uh, Natasha Schmidt is with us right now. She's the co-owner of Rubberstone New York, and uh, they can be seen online at RubberstoneNY.com. How are you, Natasha? I'm very well. Thanks for having me back. Well, it's great to have you back. Uh, you're, you're always a pleasure to have. So the New York State Fair in full progress right now. How much Rubberstone is around the New York State Fair? That's a great opening <laughs> question. Uh, to date, 35,000-ish square Woo. feet. Yeah, that's a yeah, lot. That's a lot of square footage. So if you want to know what rubber stone's all about, just <laughs> look under your feet right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, chances are you are You're walking, walking on, on it. it. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how long have you been in the business of rubber stone? Uh, also a great question. And it's funny because I was thinking about that when we came in, that it's yeah. uh, 10 years that Golly. John and I have been doing this. Um, which seems like a lifetime and also not like a lifetime. <laughs> sure. So Because you're relatively young. You're younger than Steve and I. Yeah, sure, yeah. that's 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 <laughs> factual. <laughs> it's well, not even close, Tom. <laughs> and, and you know what? We talk about local business here. Obviously, we champion local business. But here is a great example, folks, uh, of a company that has a great reputation. Not only a great product, mm-hmm. uh, but when I first got involved with you guys uh, when I wasn't with Zoe and I had heard about you, the the um, comments from people were, they're a wonderful couple mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, of business people, you know, and, and they're good people in general first and they have a good business. And they say what they do and do what they say. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. And all those things. And in yeah. contractor world, no offense to any contractors <laughs> listening, mm-hmm. right, sometimes hard to find. the reputations yeah. aren't, don't uh, back up the marketing. Mm-hmm. Correct. You know, yeah. we can do this and that and that. So just in case someone's been living under some crumbly concrete and they're yeah. unaware <laughs> unaware 
of what rubber stone is. Uh, go ahead, tell us what it is. Natasha, go. Take it away. Yeah. Uh, rubber stone is a poured in place decorative overlay system. We cover uh, deteriorated <laughs> concrete, asphalt, wood, and paving stones. Uh, no ripouts, no removals, no damage to the landscape. Uh, most jobs are done in 24 hours. Uh, highly decorative surface, also safe, slip resistant. We exclusively offer a total of four <clears throat> products now. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, the products that we offer have been around since 1984. So while we've only been doing it for 10 years, the products themselves have been around for closer to 40 years. Yeah. Um, and some of the products that we carry have actually been around since the mid-70s. Sure. So um, it's, a, it's a tested product that is proven to work in uh, freeze and thaw conditions that we have up here, salt exposure, as well as high UV exposure in places like Arizona or in Australia even. So what's so cool about putting it around a pool? Well, it's cool because it's cool. <laughs> right. It's much cooler than uh, your concrete, your paver, stamp concrete. It's highly slip resistant, so the littles aren't going to be uh, running and, and falling and skinning knees, and um, you're going to save a ton of money in Band-Aids. Yeah. Um, it's also very decorative, so with over 20 different colors that can be mixed and matched, uh, we have virtually an unlimited option of color ratios and blends to uh, fit what you already have going on, whatever scheme you yeah. have going on in your backyard. So, so if someone had a garage floor and it was crumbly, why wouldn't they just replace the concrete. Ripouts and removals are time-consuming, costly, they're dirty, they're just a nuisance and a pain. So if your concrete is still structurally sound, but it's just um, cosmetically unattractive or is starting to have what some good What if it's dipping? Heaves, what if it's dipping really, you know, for three or four inches? I mean, it can dip as long as... If it's dipping by the house, that's a concern, right? That we can address no, but like on in the site. Middle but of like it. in the yeah, middle yeah. of it, right. uh, we have like ways to uh, fix those compensate. dips. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And because <clears throat> everything we offer is poured in place and hand troweled, uh, we can compensate for highs and lows or heavy cracks, complete washouts, even. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's could, good. To could know. you put rubber stone on Route 17 down yeah. through, <laughs> <laughs> through the mountains where it's like boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, and they have that? They tried that concrete experiment on yeah. the roads in there's certain places, but they have to have concrete expands, right? Mm -hmm. Expands and contracts, yep. So it does both. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it too late to get something done uh, with the pool? It's not too late to do pools, patios, sidewalks, anything in the exterior. We do still have working time. We work all the way okay. up until Halloween weekend. So Outside? Some, outside, yes. So if it's something you want to get done in an exterior setting, give us a call. Like, Don't wait mm -hmm. any longer. Yeah, <laughs> should they, yeah, should they wait right for now. the basement or should they sign something? No, up? basements, we can do those at any point, too. We might as well get on the books now and then you're ready to go Uh when when fall hits. So you'll start the basement stuff after, like you have a hard stop for outdoor and then a, a hard stop for indoor or hard start for indoor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we'll do basements year round. Yeah. Uh, we try to hold those off until after the 1st of November so okay. we can really focus <clears throat> on exterior work. Mm -hmm. But not to say that if you need to have your basement done because it's flooded and you have some serious issues yeah, you're yeah. trying to work through well we would absolutely take care of you now we were talking about uh you said call so what's the phone number 315-463-5916 correct you got it 463-5916 what area code is that tom that's the big one the big one 315-463-5916 you can talk you can quote mm -hmm. um, or they go to rubberstonenewyork.com now really quickly this new product that you have you don't have to have a substrate that's correct Correct. So very interesting uh, in contradiction to the other products that we offer. While it can go over uh, deteriorated surfaces, we don't need to have that substrate. We can just have highly compacted run of crush or basically the same type of site prep or surface prep that you would do to install a new asphalt or a new concrete surface. But we would put down this uh, Vuba stone, which is a resin rich um, poured in place stone aggregate. Um, it's actually granite and marble that's been tumbled, and we mix it together. We pour that in place, and it's 100% permeable. So Vuba rhymes with Vuba. 
Scuba. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's Natasha Schmidt. Uh, she's the co-owner of Rubberstone New York. Rubberstoneny.com. You can see their uh, web- uh, website. And if you want to experience it, go to the fair and uh, just walk around mm-hmm. and you'll, you'll see it. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. And you have a great rest of the day. Thanks. You do the same. That's going to wrap up the local show. Time to uh, go play a wedding reception and then uh, we'll go, go to the, to the fair. fair. Yeah, yeah, this weekend. All right, Steve. Uh, on behalf of Zoe advertising tom and steve god bless you and your families take a walk today and every day with a family member or a friend it keeps the weight down and the mind clear the local show is heard every saturday morning from 11 to 1 and then again on sunday morning from 7 to 9 listen together with a friend until next week get down to business and keep doing business locally tell your friends about the local show right here on 570 wsyr 1069 fm the iHeartRadio app and on youtube at zoe advertising 30 809.